Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be doing a haul of some of the things that I've bought throughout the week. Let me know if you've tried some of these things and how you like them down below in the comment section because some of the things I haven't tried and I really want to know if they work or not. Uh, I want to know your guys' opinions on them and stuff like that. So the first item I bought is the Asic Secret Indian Healing Clay. It looks like this. I got it on Amazon and I will be putting the link down below from where I got it from. So you guys, if you want to order it too, you can. Um, I'll let you guys know how I like this. I really, I've seen a lot of videos saying that this is similar to the Glam Glow Mud Mask, the white one. So I can't wait to try this. My next item I bought at TJ Maxx and it's Rosehip Seed Oil and it retails for $9.99. I've heard um, that it's very good as a moisturizer for your dark spots, um, acne scars. It reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, which I, I mean, I really don't have fine lines and wrinkles yet, but you know, now's a good time to start. And it is a serum, so it will like um, penetrate in your skin. It's not just gonna lay on top of your skin. I really can't wait to try this because my chin area has been super dry. I'm usually like oily skin, uh, normal to oily skin. And for some reason, this area of my face has been really dry lately. I don't know if you can see it now, but this area around here and my nose, super dry. The next two things I bought are the Milani foundations. I got six first and then four because six was way too dark, five was way too pink, four was perfect, but it's a little bit too neutral and this has a perfect amount of, the six has a perfect amount of yellow in it. Is this a six? Yeah. The six has a perfect amount of yellow in it, so I just figured I could mix these two. And I heard they oxidize as well, so um, you know, I could just mix them and see how, how well they work for me. My next item I bought at Ulta and it's the Makeup Revolution blush palette. And I bought this because I don't use, um, I'm not, I don't really buy blushes. I've noticed that I don't really gravitate, gravitate towards, um, blushes. So, um, I bought this. Comes with eight blushes. And, oh, actually, six blushes and two highlighters, which are these two right here. The next item I purchased is my favorite eyeliner of all time, and it is the NYC Liquid Liner. If you haven't tried it, you need to, because it's thebomb.com. Um, just make sure, oh, man, I got the wrong one. <laughs> just make sure it says 877 instead of 888. 888 is the, um... 888 is the um, paralyzed black. Make sure it says 887 so you can get the matte one. I should have been paying attention. I didn't pay attention at all. I'm going to need to return that. My next item is my favorite drugstore lash. And it's the uh, Kiss Look So Natural lash in the style Shy. These are my absolute favorite eyelashes. They look super natural and really beautiful on. I actually have them on right now. And... They're only like three dollars. HEB usually has them for no Walgreens usually has them for buy one get one half off. So I'll just buy them at Walgreens. This next item I bought at Ulta for my for the 21 Days of Beauty. It is a Too Faced lip injection. I've tried the um, the extreme one and I really really liked it but because this was on sale for $11 I was like what the heck you know I'll just try this one I'm pretty sure it's about the same the next two things are lip glosses and they're from LA Colors this one is in the color doll face this is doll face and this one is sensual I'm going to swatch these for you. They're super pigmented. This one's doll face. And this one is sensual. And they're really pretty. The next thing I bought, I bought from the House of Lashes website. And it's the eyelash glue that they have. There you go. 
it's the clear one and I have been using this and it's amazing I would definitely recommend getting this over the eyelash uh, duo because honestly that sucks because I feel like with the duo they kind of just like even if my eyes water a little bit because my eyes do water a lot I feel like my eyelashes will just start popping off and with this one my eyes will water and it won't budge my eyelashes won't come off and it's perfect I suggest for everyone to get this it's like $11 with shipping and everything I would get it like right now like order it right now the next two lip pencils I got from a makeup store here in Houston it's called the Makeup Artist Project. If you haven't gone there yet, I do recommend you to check it out. They have Morphe brushes there, they have crown brushes, they have um, LA Girl, they have... What else do they have? They have RCMA, Ben Nye, you name it. Anything that usual makeup artists use. And it's not... Anybody can go. Like you don't have to be a makeup artist or a pro makeup artist to uh, like to shop there. And I got these two lip liners from LA Girl. This one is Wine. Let's see. This one is Wine. Here's the wine color. It's really nice. And the next color is True Brown. They're very smooth. I really like that. This is True Brown and this is Wine. I really can't wait to try True Brown. It looks like a very beautiful color. And they're very smooth. They're really nice. The next two things I bought, I bought at Ulta for the 21 Days of Beauty and they're the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Waters. I bought two of them because they were $16 a piece. Two for the price of one basically. And so far, I haven't tried these. I've heard really good things about these, and I can't wait to try them. I don't know if it'll beat my MAC Fix Plus, but we'll see. Also at the makeup store, at the Makeup Artist Project here in Houston, I got the, um, I don't know, it's like an eyelash curler for, for, um, for your false lashes, for when you put on your false lashes. And I really, I really like this. I've actually already used this and it's amazing. And it was like $5. Next thing I bought was from Walgreens. And it's the whole Wet n Wild um, brush. All the Wet n Wild brushes. <laughs> I got all of them except one. I didn't get to get the angled brush, the little angled brush. This is a small stipple brush. And they're so pretty. I mean, look at them. They're white and they're pink at the top. And they're super soft. This next brush is this blush brush. And it's kind of like a fan brush. Like, it's like, t I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, it's like a fan brush. But it's a blush brush and it's very dense. I feel like this would be perfect for highlight. The next one is a crease brush or a blending brush. And it's super soft. The next one is a contour brush, and all these brushes are soft, I really like, and they're super cheap. Actually, the lady at Walgreens hooked me up, so shout out to her, because she she gave me half off, basically, on all the brushes. And they're a dollar. This one's a dollar, this one's a dollar. I think the bigger brushes are like $2.99, but I basically got them all for a dollar. Because she hooked it up. This one's a small concealer brush. I would use this for uh, to clean um, under my eyebrows. The next one is a foundation brush. A flat foundation brush. I love these. I love using these. I know most people don't use them. I use these for foundation. And I also like to use them for masks like these. Because it just makes it so much easier. And it makes it less messy. It's a uh, better application on your face. This next one is a large eyeshadow brush. Perfect to pack on color on the lid. This one is the powder brush. And I have used this one already. Not this one. I bought two of them actually. I've used this one. And it's super soft. It's amazing. I use it for um, to powder my whole face after I'm done with my, with my foundation. And then the next one is a flat top, flat top brush. 
I want to make a video solely using these brushes, so let me know down below if you guys would like to see that. The last brush I bought was the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I wanted to use this for powder, I mean for foundation, but I feel like it's too flimsy for that, it's not dense enough. But who knows, maybe. Um, it'll probably work. We'll try it out, we'll see. Uh, Elf, Elf Studio brushes are really good. Also, they're super cheap. My last brush I got on Amazon, on the Sigma Beauty website on Amazon. And I got the Sigma Winged Liner EO6. I bought the Nude Beauty Blender. How beautiful is this? Oh my god. I wanted to buy like 20 more of them, but it's the only one they have, so. Look how cute! so pretty oh my god I love it I don't even like I want to use it but at the same time I don't want to use it because I don't want to get it dirty <laughs> this next product I got I found on Instagram it's they're called bubble babes and it's called the brush me off brush soap and this thing is amazing oh my god I use this to clean my beauty blenders and it leaves them super soft I know it looks weird and it's because they they make them themselves like this is made by them and it's um and it's all uh natural ingredients. The smell is it's not the best, but it, it won't linger on your brushes or your um or your sponges. It smells like it smells like tea tree oil. That's what it smells like to me, tea tree oil. If you smoked tea tree oil before it smells a little bit weird. And um the ingredients for this is goat's milk, the bonafide oils of olive, coconut, castor, coca, and shea butter macadamia nut oil, avocado oil, and essential oil. It doesn't have any tea tree, but it smells like tea tree oil. And it's amazing, I'm telling you. I don't think I'll ever use any other brush soap ever. Because I I was using the, um, the solid cleanser from Beauty Blender. And I love it, but it's $16. And it, I really don't think it's worth it for that little thing. I think it's like an ounce, it's literally useless. Like I can wash like four beauty blenders and then it's it's done. The solid cleanser is way too small, it's only one ounce. I go through that like this. With the solid cleanser, I felt that my beauty blenders, after I washed them and like the next day when they would get like dry, they would feel dry and like hard. Like they didn't feel soft. And with this one, you wash them and wait till the next day, you know, they're super soft. Like it's like a brand new beauty blender. This one, on the other hand, is 6 ounces, and it's freaking huge. I don't think I'm going to go through this as fast as I think I am, but it's amazing. I do recommend this. This, I think, is $24, but I'd rather pay $24 for 6 ounces than 20 for 1 ounce, which is how much the solid cleanser costs. Buy this. You need this in your life. Don't buy any other soap ever. By this one. I've had it for like a week I think. Less than a week and it's the best thing that has ever happened to me. The next thing I bought was the Cinema Secrets um, brush cleaner from the Makeup Artist Project and this thing is amazing. I love it. I have bought the smaller ones before from Sephora. These are $8 but I go through those really fast so I just decided to buy the big old bottle which this one I think is $32 or $36. I'm not too sure but I love these to spot clean my brushes. This is to wash my brushes, which I basically almost wash like at least. Um, I don't put makeup on every day. I wear makeup every like weekend or every time I film. So I don't really, but because I feel like my brushes have been dirty for a whole week, like I have to wash them every week. So I use this to wash my brushes, which, I mean, I just got it, but I'm going to be using it from, from now on. But, like, on the weekends, like, yesterday I did my makeup, and tomorrow I want to use the same brush. Um, I will use this to spot clean. It does have a very strong vanilla scent, but it won't linger on your brushes, so I like that. The last thing I bought were these two mesh pouches for my beauty blenders. You have to put beauty blenders in an open area like you can't put it in a plastic bag because of the, ba the bacteria it will like
make and it's just nasty. Don't put beauty blenders in plastic bags. Buy a mesh one like this so it can air out and dry up nicely. And this one I got at Hobby Lobby for $2.99 but I used the 40% off coupon that they always have. So I bought two of them. One for my kit and one for me. And the last thing I bought was my Mario Badescu drying lotion. This is amazing for pimples. If you have a nasty pimple and you want it gone in like two days, you need this right here. This right here is what you need. I've already finished one bottle. This bottle doesn't have any anymore. I just finished this one. And I want to go buy this one for the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta. And I got it for $12. Less than $12, I think. And I use it every time I think I'm about to get a pimple, every time I have a pimple. It's the best thing ever. It will, like, if you think you're about to get a pimple, just, just dot it on your face. It will get rid of it, I promise you. It dries it out super fast. Usually, like, I'll have a big, red, nasty pimple, and I'll put it on in the next day. Usually, it's gone, like, down half the size or more than half the size. And sometimes, it's usually just gone. And that's why I love this so much. If you haven't tried it, try it. It's amazing. That's everything. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching.